Cuz Briar626 here, and today I have a very special unboxing for you guys. Today we're going to be unboxing two very powerful Bahugan that have been released, and a lot of people are kind of after them. And we got our hands a hold of them, and we're going to be opening up, and that is for one, the Aquas Cubo, which is great, and the Pyrus Pyravian Ultra. So let's go ahead and get these things opened up. Alrighty, so we've got them opened up here, and they're all opened up, all spread up on the table. And of course, you do get this little instruction menu. We just don't care about that. We're just going to eat it out of the way. We don't need it. But you do get this little uh, pamphlet here with the Pyravian pack. All right, it shows you how to close up the Pyrus Pyravian. Um, and then, of course, like the recent checklist of all the Bahugan, which there is a lot of Bahugan on here. I mean, there's a lot of them. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize how many Bahugan there are on here. Now, you guys, like, how many how many Bakugan they got to release? This is a lot of them, um, which is crazy how many Bakugan they have released um, of what they have, first of all. Um, we're just going to go ahead and stick this aside um, and see what other Bakugan we get. But first of all, we got the two Bakugan here. Now, we got some, like, uh, or four Bakugan here. But these are very, very important Bakugan, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and let's just go ahead and start off with the ones that are, like, meh, they're okay. Like this guy here. This here is, of course, our boy... Uh, the Aquas uh, Hydras here. This is just the core Aquas Hydras. We just did an unboxing of him in diamond form. If you want to see that, go ahead and click the card in the top right uh, corner. It's going to show you that anyway. Uh, and show you that up there. So you guys can, uh, you know, watch that diamond unboxing because there's some really cool diamonds in that. Um, and that is Hydras there. And we've already got him. And of course, I think this is his character card right here. Yep, that is his character card. And of course, that is his character card. He's 2 HP power, 6 damage, uh, the shield, and the helix. Uh, and that's what you get and then you get a shield and a helix here and these are the two sh cores you get and The shield is plus 100 the helix is minus 100 plus 4 so a little low, but that's okay Those are the two cores. They're not too bad. Um, they're not the greatest cores by any means, but those are the cores And we'll stick that to the side And then we have of course our next one here, which is actually a new Bahugan. This is one of the new ones that have been released uh, This is Zintor uh, He has a magic shield and a green fist four inch be power three damage underdog when this opens if uh, it has lower b power then your opposing bahugan the opposing bahugan gets plus or gets minus two damage um so it's not the greatest underdog effect but it is an underdog effect and of course you just get the shield and the uh magic shield and they are the plus 550 and then plus 50 plus one um so not the not too bad of course they're not the greatest either but they're not too bad um and of course we go in ahead and roll him we'll just roll him and see what he looks like here and his arrow first of all is right there so we'll take it and we'll roll it right three two one bahu gun brawl boom there you go pretty simple open he looks uh, reminds us very similar of uh Cindy's, um core very similar to that of course he does have like that little blade that comes out just like Cindy's does i mean which is really funny he does have that um looks like a really cool bomb this is the first one i have of zentor um which is really neat i mean he really does have a very similar build to the Cindy's um type look to his b powers right there but he looks really cool i like him and of course closing him is very very simple uh you close the tail close that close that down and push his heads in and or you keep the wings out keep the wings out first and then boom there you go and that's it you just close it down simple just like that pretty cool looking bahugan though i like it and we didn't close up the hydras um pretty simple though i mean this is we had this from day one um boom there you go close them up simple and easy um and that is the zentor uh and his cores and then we have the pyravian ultra now this one is one that we're really after and the reason being is because he does come with the two normal shields and his stats of course are two normal the two normal shields 303 a little low but his effect is whenever you lands on the core or on the shield core it gets plus 300 b power so it makes him six and then plus whatever else if you land on a pyrus darkest one um it's going to be at 1100 which is going to be really or actually no just even at a thousand am right he's going to be at a thousand on turn one which is really good uh he's really really good on turn one on that which is really nice uh being at a thousand b power uh landing on that and then even in, that's not including his evil which is evil makes it uh, so much better it's literally a one energy cost card that literally boosts him up to i think um almost 1200 i think I, I don't have it in front of me it's going to be on the screen here you'll see it next to him um, but it boosts him up really really well now he does have some flappy wings i can see some really flappy wings especially that one uh but his b power is on his tail and of course to close him up is very very simple 
literally, that, 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 that's it. That's literally how simple it is. It's literally it's easy to close around. Of course, you get are they two shields, which is plus 200 and plus 250. So not some really good shield cores in this, but you do get those cores. Um, so you at least have some if you need some. Uh, and that is that there. And of course, we're going to go ahead and roll him. His arrow is right there. We're going to roll in that direction, and let's see what he can do when he pops open. Ready? Three, two, one, Baku Gun Brawl. Boom. Oh, look at that. His head. His head got a little caught underneath. But yeah, that is Pyravian Ultra. Of course, his little toes down here do come out, um, which is really cool. Um, and that, like I said, that is Pyravian Ultra. And this is a guy that I'm going to be using a uh, Pyrus Darkest Aquas deck that uses all mono shields. Um, that's going to be a deck I'm actually going to be building. And I might have even already have it built by the time you see this video uh, and taken to the uh, tournament that is uh, in Chicago. I may have already be taking it there, so you don't know. Uh, but I'll post pictures and videos of everything of that as well if you haven't already seen some. Uh, but that is the Pyravian Ultra, which is really cool. Uh, and then, of course, you do get three cards. Um, and the three cards, the first one is Aquas Blast. Now, this is an AA card, so this is from Age of War... Uh, this is Age of Orlis. It is Age of Orlis. Wow, you got some more Age of Orlis cards. I haven't got any, hardly any of them besides the darkest ones because I bought those off of TCG players. There's like no packs here. For whatever reason, there's no packs. Uh, but we have Age of Orlis. Six damage, or six energies and plus nine damage for Aquas Blast. Not too bad. It's the first card of the set too, which is nice. And then we have Wild Roar for one energy. Minus 300 GB power. That's a good minus 300 GB power for a common from Age of Orlis. That's not too bad, minus 300. I mean, it's not like nature's power worthy, but I mean, it's still a good card to at least re reduce some B power on turn one. And then the next one is Wildfire. Now, this is a really good one. Um, three un uh, three energies for 400 B power, but if you have an Arliss on your team, plus 800 uh, B power instead, and that's Age of Orlis. Um, that's a really, really good card. Uh, getting that card, and if you play Pyrus Arliss, uh, play anything with Pyrus and Arliss, you're going to get 800 B power constant, which is a great, great card to use. Um, I love that card. Um, it, I'm, I'm excited to put them in some Arliss decks uh, to see that happen in them uh, because that is a, such a great card. We're going to go ahead and stick those to the side up there. And then the other guy that we have. Now, this one is a very, very popular one, um, and I like him a lot, and that is Kubo. This is the Aquas Kubo, uh, to be more specific. Uh, Aquas Kubo has some really good stuff that goes along with him. Uh, he's very, very powerful uh, with it as well. Of course, his arms do move here, um, and he does have the little the wiggle, the wiggle ears. Um, makes his arms move. You can kind of make him dab um, if you could try. I don't know if you can, but you could try to make him dab, dab and Kubo. Um, one inch B power, not the greatest. He's got the his orange uh, backpack um, that has China on it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Of course, closing them, simple, easy, closing ears, and boom, there you go. You just push it in together, and that is it. It looks just like that. Uh, now, the stats. Now, this is like the biggest thing. The stats, of course, is Magic Shield and Blue Fist, or Magic Shield and Red Fist. Alrighty, good. Alright, that, that, that's good right there. Um, 100 B power, 5 damage, lands on a Magic Shield or a Fire Fist, plus 600 B power. That is ridiculous. First of all, that, that that's really good. And this is mainly used for the Chaos Titan Nilius decks um, that is out there. That a lot of people are really running um, is they're running Aquas Kubo. So keep an eye out for Aquas Kubo because he could be a very very powerful Baku gun to go up against. And of course, of course, you get it's a 550 for the Magic Shield and the 150 plus four for the Red Fist. Um, it's like I said, these are not not uh, not bad, not the greatest cores, but the Baku gun itself is the really really strong Baku gun. Um, I know I'll be putting him in my uh, highest Titan Nilly stack uh, when I get done with this and putting him in there and playing with it because this is a very very good Baku gun. Now it's really interesting about this one. He does have an arrow that tells him to roll it that way, but I don't like rolling him that way. Uh, I really don't. It, it's really. I mean that's it. It's, he basically rolls that way. If you want to make sure you get a card um, or land on a core, here's how I say you should do it. You should side spin it. Side spinning is the best thing for it. It's where you pinch it and you just pinch in between and it rolls and the magnet will stay on the bottom. Uh, and here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Just like that. You see he landed right on it. I aimed for it. Boom. Right on it. So if you want to get a bottle gun that makes you constantly get cores and you know that you're going to get something, use Kubo and that's why he's such a good bottle gun as well in the Chaos Titan Elias decks um, is because uh, he basically can do that side spin and he gives you access to reroll cards um, like the Dark Waters um, and why can't I think of the other one at the moment? 
Um, but the one one energy cost cards that are make you reroll your bottle gun that are aquas that are really good Yeah, that's basically what he's gonna be used in there for to get access to those and some other access to other cards as well uh, To help basically play hey, hey, Titan Nilius as like a Not really controlling but a more aggressive type of deck, which is really really good um, getting access to like the the whole uh, letting you be able to play more cards like the flow abilities getting you access to do that which is really nice uh, in that which is good um, it's such a great Bakugan to, to just to do that with um, and Hayas Titan Nilius because Hayas Titan Nilius is a very very strong deck uh, and um, it it's just it's going to be nasty with this guy in it so keep an eye out for Kubo uh, in that uh, when you're playing against those Hayas Titan Nilius deck keep an eye out for Kubo and even just picking up Kubo be care just keep an eye out picking up Kub Aquas Kubos because he's really good um, so yeah, so that is the unboxing here of the Pirates Pyraven Ultra and the Aquas Cubo. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a cousin in our family. And make sure you click that bell icon so you guys get notified of videos just like this one here. Because I'll be posting up some really cool stuff that happened back this week, or actually today, that this video is going up that's happening today. Uh, I'll be posting probably some videos uh, throughout the week. And I'm also gonna be posting that big video at the end of this, uh, at the end of next week, next Saturday. Um, so yeah. So uh, remember, Ohana means family, and family zone gets left behind or forgotten. I will see y'all next time. Bye.